Hey everybody, this is Mark, and today we are going to be talking about Q&A episode 4. Well, the first question that we got here says, Will there be a new iMac this summer? I'm planning on buying one, and I'm afraid of buying one, and a new one comes out. Well, um, last week, Apple came out with a cheaper iMac. People still say that Apple is planning on coming out with a Retina iMac. I'm not quite sure if they will or not. It's 2560 by 1440 screen on your 27 inch monitor. That's a very high resolution, higher than Retina. So I really don't think they would come out with one, but I would not be expecting it very soon. Maybe fall when they come out with the iPhone 6 and iPad Air 2, that sort of stuff. So I would say you can buy one now if you want, but if you want to wait, you can probably wait till about fall. Next question says, do you like the Red Scarlet? If you're not familiar with this, what the Red Scarlet is, it's a very expensive and high-end camera. I do like it. I've never used it before, but everybody that uses it says it's really good, and I I would like to try it, but it's kind of too expensive, $25,000. So, you know, just a little too much for me. Should I buy a new MacBook Air or a used MacBook Pro off of Craigslist for basic computer needs? Well, for basic computer needs, a MacBook Air will be more than enough, but that price can get up very high. Even the baseline MacBook Air is $1,000, and that's like a 11 inch screen. Lowest end MacBook Pro is 13 inches, so it depends. Do you prefer a new computer or not? Um, it all depends where you get it from. Most MacBook Pros are usually the chunky ones from around 2008. That time's the oldest, really, you can find. Um, you can't really get a Retina one for cheaper than MacBook Air. So I would say you could probably go for a MacBook Pro if you don't care about some of the things like a hard drive compared to an SSD, less RAM, a lower end processor, that sort of stuff. Do you like me? Um, if you subscribe to the channel, yeah. What prompted you to make a biography of yourself? Those well, you guys may not know, or you may know, or you may not. Um, we came out with a biography. We've been working on it for two years with our software developer, Ryan. And um, yeah, it's just biography about me. And I really wanted to do this because I wanted people to know how um, really we work, how I've worked up for quite a few years to get to where we are now. And maybe if there's some kids reading it, it might want them to do something like this as well. Well, that's all the questions for this week. Be sure to leave them in the comment section below for your questions, and I will definitely answer them in the next episode, if not the one after that. Anyway, that's all for this video. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.